Hello, I'm Dr. Victoria Osberg and I'm a research fellow at the Institute for Glycomics Griffith University. I've been at Griffith University since 2010. I did my undergraduate degree, my honours and my PhD all at Griffith. I work with a bacteria called Streptococcus pyogenes, so for short it's referred to as Strep A. So Strep A leads to infection through your throat, so this is what we call a strep throat, and through your skin, so pyoderma. Our vaccine is a peptide-based vaccine. Our bacteria has what we call as virulence factors. These virulence factors, they're like defense molecules, so they defend the bacteria against our immune system. We've taken two small proteins from these defense molecules, put them together to make it into a vaccine, and we've called this vaccine IMVAX. So we plan on doing a phase one human clinical trial at the end of this year with this vaccine. Um, so a vaccine is used as a preventative um, treatment and what we're also doing is trying to develop an immunotherapeutic drug that will treat already established strep. Again, if this isn't treated, it can also lead to, as I mentioned, post-streptococcal sequelae of disease. And this is our acute rheumatic fever and our acute rheumatic heart disease. So what happens is your body starts to attack itself. So when it comes to acute rheumatic heart disease, your own immune cells start to attack your heart and damage your cardiac tissue. So this is quite common in our indigenous communities of uh, North Queensland and the Northern Territory. And what we actually see is that there's over 300 cases per 100,000 people in these communities. And if we don't treat these um, diseases, what this can lead to is 350,000 deaths annually. And this is quite detrimental and this is, this is why we need a vaccine to stop the progression of strep A disease. Research, it's a 24-7 job, it's, it's beyond that nine to five. And for us, track record is, imper is imperative to our career. On my downtime, I like to read books and, and I feel quite lucky that we live on the Gold Coast. So on the weekends, I like to go up to Mount Tambourine, go to Springbrook, go down to the beach and you know go for a walk and just relax and I guess like everyone else there's all you know there's those odd weekends where you just want to do nothing just sit watch TV. So my favorite genres are classics and romance novels and I enjoy these genres because as a research scientist we read uh, research papers all the time to keep up with research and it's nice to read fictional books to just relax and and take your take your mind off the research. My name is Dr. Victoria Osberg. I'm a lady in a lab coat fighting diseases of global impact.